This program is brought to you by RHB and the Star. I'm Hani Madhu and you are watching RHB The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge 2011 A nationwide search for the mightiest minds of Malaysia And today we are here in Kuala Lumpur Yes, that's right, the capital of Malaysia A metropolitan city that has about 1.4 million people living right here in this wonderful city Whoa! That's a lot of people guys. No wonder we always get stuck in traffic jams right here in KL. Anyways, today we're going to see students representing various schools from all over Kuala Lumpur or the Federal Territory go on a head-to-head -head challenge in science, math and general knowledge to grab the title of the Mightiest Minds of KL right here in Berjaya Times Square. Let's go and see what they're all up to. Today, we will see students from all over Kuala Lumpur representing their schools in two categories, the lower secondary F123 category and the upper secondary F4, F5 category. They will be battling against each other in science, math and general knowledge. I was selected by my science teacher to represent for this competition. Yeah, I'm pretty confident that I'll do well for the competition. Uh, we joined the challenge actually because our teacher asked us to and we decided that we'll just go through with it and try our best and see how it goes. We just hope to do our best in the challenge and see how far we can get. We'll take it one round at a time and then see if we can get a prize for our school and make our school proud. We actually joined this competition when we were in Form 3. So this is our second time. Our teacher in Form 3, who's not with us right now, actually encouraged us to participate. He said it'll be a good experience for us. Well, I hope I'm ready and I'm trying my best to keep calm and, you know, whatever happens, happens. Looks like they're all set to battle, so let's go KL! Yeah! Mr. Calculative intends to place a certain sum of money in a bank account that fetches him the highest interest rate over a period of time. In which of the following account should he place his money? Question on banking. This quiz is brought to you by RHB Bank and the star, of course, RHB Bank. Banking simplified. And the answer we want. We're looking for fixed deposit. 26 teams getting that one right. ABCD is a rectangle. ADE and ADF in the rectangle are a pair of similar triangles. The line AE intersects DF perpendicularly. Which of the following expressions is correct? And the answer we want, we're looking for B. A lower scoring question, only 10 of you getting it right. Mr. Arm holds Miss Load romantically in his palms. Together, they form a lever system. What class of lever system is shown above? And the answer, we're looking for the third class lever, third class lever. 30 of you getting it right. Gun is 6 feet tall while bun and fun are 5 feet 6 inches and 5 feet respectively. When gun, sun, where did sun come from? Okay. When gun, sun, bun and fun stand in this order, they form a decreasing order of height with gun the starting point. Your question, what is the probable height of sun? And the answer we want. 
One feet about 30 cm. So six times 30 is 180. Five and a half feet, 165. So C is between 165. 37 of you getting it right. Bhakti is an organization that does many charitable services. Who are the members of Bhakti? Bhakti, they are wives of cabinet ministers and deputy ministers. Huh? 19 of you getting it right. Mr. Cheezels parachuted down from a helicopter at a height of 100 meters at constant velocity. As he falls, one of these statements applies. Which one is most accurate from the following four statements? The answer we want is, there we go, as he falls, 16 of you getting it right. Kinetic energy is constant, huh? Okay, guys, that was the top 10 teams that made it to the next round in both categories. So, let's see them in action in the second round of RHB The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge 2011, KL. For the F123 category, the teams have to construct an indicator system which will allow occupants to determine by sight from both inside and outside the house if their main door is locked or unlocked. Safety first! Judges will then evaluate each model and points will be given. Oral presentation will then follow after the judging is complete. Because light cannot travel through an opaque object, we have made holes here so that light can shine through. So, um, you can see whether it's locked or open from outside or inside. Um, we have also used these switches made out of conductors so that we can actually show if it's open or closed. When it's red, it's not locked. When we lock it, it will be green. For the F4, F5 category, the teams have to construct a pre-landslide warning system to alert residents living near a hill slope when minor earth movements occur to indicate an impending landslide. Include a control room that will allow an alert to be sent to the authorities. Now that's very interesting, don't you think? Judges again will evaluate and give points to the teams. It's time for the oral presentation, guys, followed by the buzzer session. The soul represents any initial earth movements before an actual landslide were to occur. As you can see, the earth is channeled through a specific path, which will then cause it to fall onto the aluminium lever and thus cause it to depress slightly and connect the circuit. Therefore, electricity will flow into the emergency systems in both the control room and the residential areas. In the residential areas, the emergency system consists of an alarm system and an emergency light, which will function as a beacon to alert the residents about any impending landslides. We prepared by the, for the challenge by watching National Geographic Channel, we read the Star newspaper, we went online looking for facts and figures about science and maths, and we did many other things, but mainly the support of our teachers and friends helped us a lot. We stayed back in school almost every day and then we had some gathering sessions that where we would share knowledge among each other. I would definitely encourage my juniors to join because it not only exposes us to you know general knowledge questions but also teaches us how to present our findings um, in our own way like the oral presentation. And it also, you know, helped me get over my stage fright. So it's really, really good. Each box represents a letter. Unravel the word using these three clues. I'm going to give you three clues, one at a time. Your first clue. It is an important chemical reaction 
involving two common reactants. Your second clue, the resultant solution as a pH 7. You can buzz in if you know all the... Team B, you want to answer. What's your answer? Neutralization. Neutralization is the answer we want. Congratulations. Two points for Team B. Yeah? Rosa Posa left a mold of clay to dry in the sun. The mold increases its size by three times each day. After the third day, its size decreases two times each day. Your question, what is the size of the mold compared to the original size after six days? Team A, you buzzed in. What's your answer? Um, no changes. No change is not the correct answer. So we have a pass that. Team D, your answer? Two and a one quarter times the size of the original mold. Two and one quarter is not the correct answer. Everyone is going. You see, you see, you see. Team C, what's your answer? Three times the original size. Not the answer as well. Team E, your answer please. Five. Five is not the answer. This Team B, you won, you can take your time. We've got some time for you if you want to calculate this. Huh? Because you have not buzzed in. Team B, your answer? 6.75. 6.75 is not the answer. Everyone had a go and got it Good incorrect. Answer, answer, answer. Okay, we're going to give you 30 seconds more. Anyone wants to still do the calculation? But this time, if you try, raise your hand if you want to try. If you're wrong, minus one point. Huh? Okay, right. First team to raise your hand. If you're right, you get two points. In the microphone, please, your answer. Team D. Six times. Judges. Ooh, okay. Minus one point there for Team D. Minus one point. Team B, what's your answer? 2.25. 2.25 minus one point as well. With this now, we close the question. The correct answer on the screen is actually 3 and 3.8, okay? Times bigger than the original size.